Hi everyone, welcome to Solar Integrations. Um, I wanted to share with you something which I worked out today, which I, I think is very cool. And that's um, with the latest levels of load shedding jumping up and down. I wanted to be able to save my inverter settings and just push a button to be able to switch between them. Um, I also wanted to automate the, the switching of my settings, but um, I've had some issues with my ESCOM Supush app, so that isn't working right now, but I, I will work on that. Um, so this is to set up a button on the dashboard to switch between your settings for level 2 setting, uh, level 2 load shedding and say level 4 load shedding and how you do that. It's um, pretty easy to do and won't take long at all. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is just go down to settings, um, integrations. I want to just go to my entities for my inverter and I want to just edit the area that they all live in. Um, I want to change the area for all of them and I'm going to create a new area. I'm going to call it inverter so that all my inverter entities are in the same place and that you can see updates all of my um, entities which are coming in from my ESP32 on the inverter. Okay, so then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to automations and scenes. I'm going to go to um, scenes, add a new scene. I'm going to call it a uh, level for load shedding settings. Okay, the area I'm going to say is my inverter and my entities I want to add in. Now, if you have a look on the um let me just go to this other to these these are the settings that i want to be able to change over here my inverter settings over here and my uh grid settings so i want to know what that is i can click on there click on that over there i'm going to be looking for number to set the soc time so under entities over here i'm going to go number set and I actually want number one. There we go. So that's number one. And I'm going to want number two. And number three. Number four. Number five. And number six. Okay. So those are my six time zone settings. And then the second thing I want is my grid charge settings, whether I'm going to be um, uh, charging from the grid or not. I want to be saving those as well. So that's, that's a switch over there. It's not a number. Um, if I go back over here and I add those in. So that's grid charge number one. Number two. three number four five and number six and you will also notice that my um i've got these custom names on here if you want to change that like this one over here is that's the default name set soc time zone one if i want to change that i can go over here click on there click on there um and i'm going to call that um grid charge um set time zone zero it'll be from 12 uh, from midnight until five o'clock so let's just change that zero zero comma zero zero to zero five five there we go got update okay and that's not updated that name so if you guys want to put custom names in over there you can okay let's go back over here um so there's all my entities and i go save um 
I now have all my settings saved. If I look on there, what I can do is just make a copy of that. So I'm going to call that level two load shedding, uh, load shedding settings. Okay. And what that's going to do is back that's level two okay so if i go on here and i have a look at what these are set for i can click on there and i can adjust these these are by default are going to be all my um my level four settings oh, sorry these are my level two settings so i want to change these um i'm going to drop these down to 20 percent i'll drop all these down that's at 20 percent that's at 20%. And it'll read all of those settings and it'll store them. Okay, grid charge. I don't want it to charge from grid on level 2 settings. Um, I think that one is off. That one is on. Okay. So now I've got... A, and I'm going to save that. So now my level 2 settings and my level 4 settings will be different. And I'll have two scenes set for both of those. Okay, so if I want to add my switches onto here, I want to add um, two switches so that I can switch between between my um, settings. I can just go edit dashboard. Let's add them in over here. I'm going to add two new entities. I'm going to call it scene scene level two and scene level four okay and i'm going to go save and now you'll see just click on done there you'll see if i change to level two settings i click there all my inverter settings will be level two and if i click over there they'll be all updated to level four um and the same will happen for these grid charge settings um, let me just move this up here. Um, it's probably better to put all of these into, into one card in any case. Uh, let me actually do that. Um, edit. Let's just copy all of this. Um, like that. C. Cancel. Let's stick them all in one card. Show code editor. Let's just put all these entities in over there. Okay, we actually don't need the firmware entity. So I can take that out. Okay, there we go. Maybe we'll just put these two at the top. Like that. There we go. And we go save. And then what you can do if you want to have, uh, for this example, I've only got these settings over here. If you want to add your priority loads or anything like that, you can put those in as well. And then you can just click one button and you'll see it's changed everything to no charging and it'll just save everything. It's very cool and I hope you guys find it useful.